Hey, what's up everybody? Hey, um, uh, wanted to answer some questions from some of the comments that I've had on LinkedIn and YouTube about starting a business and some of the challenges that people are running into with, you know, just really getting their business off the ground. And I, trust me, I can, uh, I can, uh, say that I, I truly understand where you're coming from. I remember when my wife and I started our first company in 1990, it was very difficult. We didn't have any money. We were both 20 years old. Uh, it was very tough. And some of the things that uh, I see now as distractions, like with social media, all the different choices that we have right now and things that can kind of take our attention away. Uh, I I don't know, you know, I'm not going to say that, at my, that I would have... Uh, not had some problems because, you know, even now I catch myself where I'm like checking my emails or looking on my phone at stuff. And what I have to do is I have to refocus myself. So I would say the, the number one thing that I think that someone needs to do is that they need to make, uh, you know, get focused on what they want to do. The way that I do it, uh, you know, this is just a technique that I use. If I'm going to work on something, what I'll do is I'll put on a on the piece of paper in the corner, like I'll draw a little line and then I'll write, New the, visitor. write the goal on, uh, let me turn my computer down. I'll write the goal down that I'm trying to accomplish. If it's to generate more leads, if it's to come up with a new ad that I'm gonna place on Facebook or TikTok or a new uh, post or something, I'm gonna focus on the goal of, of getting that job done uh, and the way that I focus on it is I write the, the outcome of that goal on the paper. With and so visitor. whenever I start to get a little bit uh, unfocused, I'll just look in the corner of that piece of paper and I'll be like, this is what you committed to doing. And another thing is I, I always make sure that it's something that I want to do. Uh, people come to me with different business opportunities and I, you know, I, you can make money doing this. You can, uh, you want to invest in this project or invest in, with with us with this. And and I'll say to them that uh, if it's something that I don't want to do, I don't get involved. And I found by doing that is that the things that I do get involved with, I commit more to. That I'll see them through. There's been things that I've committed to that straight up failed, that didn't make any money, didn't work, it was straight up failure. But because I wanted to do it fully, like I, I wanted to do that that uh, particular uh, uh, opportunity or investment, it uh, I saw it through from A to Z. And uh, I can tell you when you do that, when you do that, you will get used to doing like, doing the whole process of something. And when you become that type of person, you won't be like a lot of people say, all talk, no action. You know, you might have, uh, or you might be this person that'll start something and don't finish it. And so this, by doing what I just told you will help you stop doing that, is just to get involved with things that you really wanna do. If you don't really wanna do it, don't do it. Don't do it for the money, none of that stuff, because the money comes to you. Trust me, when you like doing what you're doing, you, 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 you're you very focused on doing that, uh, doing a great job for your customers, the money will follow. And the thing that I've found is that when you, uh, for all of the things that you lost, even if you tried some things that you really wanted to do, and I've had that happen before, and it didn't work, maybe things just didn't align right, when you get the payoff from the ones that do work, it's like a thousand times more to make up for the things that you, the money that you lost and the time that you lost with the other opportunity. See, the thing is, is that most people, the reason why they can't experience that is because they never run through that complete process. When you run through that complete process, it's like you're a different person because then your family and friends will know, hey, they won't say that you're just a talker. They'll be like, you you tried to do it and they can see that you put all your energy and your your blood, sweat and tears into trying to make that specific opportunity uh, work in, or that business work and it just didn't work out. But they see that you put everything into it and they might, you know, you know, try to pat you on the back and say that 
you know, we're sorry that, you, you know, in, in thinking that you're all disappointed. But you, what, you, what you've really done is you just made yourself stronger for the next opportunity. Uh, this is from personal experience. I, I've had that same uh, experience with real estate in the past. And then years later, you, <laughs> utilizing, because, you, utilizing the same information that I failed with the first time because I was a more of a stronger person. Things were more aligned. I was made hundreds of thousands of dollars when I had lost hundreds of thousands of dollars the first time. And it made up for, you know, a uh, hundred times more than what I had lost. So some of the times what you got to do, well, not even some of the time, all the time, you got to go from start to finish. And, you, and while you're doing that, you will start to see and pay attention to little things that you might have missed that you didn't pay attention to. And you'll also be able to gauge yourself to know if you're really pushing to do something. Because some of the times you might catch where you're pretending to do something or are you really doing something. And you will know that by the results that start to, to come from what you're doing. Because you will see right now that a lot of people, they're faking, pretending to be in business, and, uh, you know, that just in a way, it's just so they could feel good about what, what they're doing. And I mean, for some, that's OK. But for me, I would, you know, and I think that most of the people that are watching this video, you really either want to succeed with uh, moving up with your at your job place of employment uh, and, and make more income so you can utilize that income to do more with your family more for yourself, secure your retirement, or you might be more like me where you want to uh, have a, a nice business or maybe a large corporation and you want to see what you can do. Number one, first is to start a business and make that successful. And then number two, be able to expand that out into multiple businesses where you don't even have to be there, where you're able to just, you know, reap the rewards of that business. And, and that's the, the level that I've um, been able to get myself at. Now, understanding where we're at right now with, with all of the distractions, with all of the things that are kind of holding people back from uh, being able to be successful, uh, let's, let's do this. Let's like get a piece of paper and then you write down exactly what you want, like the goals that you want, everything that you want. Like when I first started doing that little exercise where I would put the uh, goal on the side, I had actually had to have a whole sheet, my whole sheet of paper and I had put a line on like three quarters was where I was going to do my work on. But the other quarter of the paper that I had, had I had wrote out the goals. Like, I want to buy this new car. I want to uh, be able to do this for my family. Like, I would have the goals there. And whenever I stopped being focused on what I needed to do, I would just look over to the right on the paper and I would see that and it would just automatically get me refocused. Because if you think about it, this is what we do right now. Think about it. This is like nothing new. Uh, it's not some magic. It's, it's, it's just changing over something that we're doing right now. Right now, when you're working on something, you just go over to the distraction. The distraction is something for you to do, something to put your attention on because you start to get a little bit uh, uh, bored or exhausted because it's a lot of mental work from what you're doing on uh, working on your business. So what you have to do is you have to focus yourself and what most people do is, or what we mostly all of us do is we'll run to, to distractions, check our email, look on social media, look at TV, listen to something on the radio, all that type of stuff. When I've learned that what you have to do is you have to shut that stuff out and you got to get refocused on what you want and then you get back to work on what you're doing. Maybe you take a break, but you, you get back focused on what you want to do. This is how you can actually uh, not waste time. Like a lot of people, you know, they s start something and then all of a sudden it's like five, 10 years later. And you're like, what did I do with that time? Uh, and, and you look back and you're like, you know, you, did you really spend that time wisely? And so things that I do, like in my office, like I'll write down in my, uh, my book, write down on, uh, what I'm going to be doing during the week and make sure that I take care of all of that stuff. And then I make sure that when I'm working on something that I'm working on it, I'm not like 
starting something and then running and doing something else. Like I will finish it. Like I will start it and finish. If I'm going to make a new ad, I'm going to start that ad. I'm going to finish that ad. I'm going to deploy that ad. If I'm make, making a new marketing funnel for generating leads, like I'm working on now for one of my businesses, I'm going to design it. I'm going to give it to my uh, team to get everything in place. And then we're going to make the ads and we're going to deploy the ads and we're going to see what what happens from those leads like that is what i do and i get very focused on that stuff and it it just helps you uh uh not procrastinate something else that and, and it, this goes not into just just business let me tell you something that that happened with uh my uh my uh, uh granddaughter this weekend we went to a magic show and we ended up buying one of those magic kits. You know, a lot of you probably bought one, that, that big magic kit from the show. And But this is something that we did. Check this out. We, oh, my uh, battery is getting a little low there. Let me, let me plug, plug in a little bit so we don't, don't lose, lose power. Uh, let me tell you something that we did. Let me tell you something that we did. My uh, granddaughter and I, we actually went through the book. She's eight years old. We went through the book and we did, I, we probably did every magic trick except for one, the one with the ropes, the three ropes that are where you can make them all look the same size. That was the only one that we couldn't really figure out 100%, but we did the coin trick. We did the, uh, the, the balls disappearing. We did the handkerchief uh disappearing and then pulling it out like all of the different tricks the pin through the uh dollar through the dollar bill we did that one like we went from start to finish and uh you know how it can be sometimes where you're you know you you're kind of uh where you're like okay i'm gonna read through this and and uh you know you've been taking care of other stuff and then you you want to spend time with your children or your grandchildren and you're like we gotta kind of go through this. And what I had ended up doing is I started to focus on, I wanted to teach her and, and spend the time with her on learning these magic tricks. She was very engaged. So there was no way that I was just not going to do those with her. And we went through the entire, there was 38 different magic tricks. We would do to learn the trick. She would uh, do, you know, she would demonstrate the trick on me once she felt that she, uh, once we felt that she had it, then she went to, to my wife and her mom and did the trick. And like, they were like, how is she doing this stuff? And, um, you know, so, but part, that's the goal that I had in my mind the whole time. And some of these took a lot of reading and uh, practicing to be able to get those in. And we did it within like an hour and a half through the whole book with all of the tricks to where she was able to fool her, my wife and her and, and her mom on all of the tricks except for one. And that was only because something that slipped out of her hand. So uh, it doesn't just work for business. It works for anything that you're trying to do in life because what it does is it gets you to focus and it gets you into the mindset of, I can't quit even if it does fail. You're putting all of your effort and action into it because if something is going to succeed, you're going to have to put all of your action and effort into that anyway. So why not put your efforts and actions, all of it into what you're doing and then let the outcome be what it, what it uh, turns out to be. Well, Hey, I want to thank you for your time. I just wanted to uh, hop on here to uh, answer those questions. I'm, I get that a lot on, on the YouTube channel and also some uh, direct messages I've been getting from LinkedIn. I'm starting to kind of grow that uh, relationship uh, again on there. Uh, but thank you for your time. This is Stephen A. Williams, president and founder of Blue Book MKE.